Hello, my name is Greg George, and in this video, we are going to talk about the exciting improvements to Geomagic Control X 2025 as it pertains to the Python scripting and macro recording functionality. So this video is intended to be an introduction just to show you the lay of the land and where everything is and how to get started and point you in the right direction to get you rolling with the textural scripting. So what is it? Python console, scripting console, just like what we had inside of RAP or Control 2015, in the sense that it's exposed to being able to be driven or controlled with Python scripts. It's got a layer added for Python in that sense. Now, it is a slightly different code platform, so, you know, there are going to be differences there, but this is intended to be a similar piece of functionality and have a similar uh, task set um, of being able to accomplish similar things with it. We still support the UI-based recording of macros as well, so you can record the macros, which we'll talk about later in this video. And we also support this inside of CX Professional, the educational and subscription customers. So that is all part of Professional for all of those uh, platforms. So a little bit about why we did this. We have a, a certain segment of our customer base that we need to give advanced automation functionality and the ability to use a common scripting language language in order to extend our tool set, right? So as a software company, it is not possible to develop a solution for every single person out in the market. I think that's quite obvious, right? Um, so the ability to create a general product that beats the masses, but then give you a tool set that allow you to extend it in very specific ways that you may have uh, as a third-party company. So you'll be able to expand by accessing third-party libraries. It re remedies a slight regression between Control 2015 as well because it had functionality like this. Another side note here, the uh, visual scripting is still going to be supported. So that functionality is very similar to what it was before. So don't worry about the visual scripting as well. And it's still the same Control X 2015 product that we all know and love. We are just exposing tools in the background to allow customers to create uh, customized solutions. So with that, let's go ahead and switch over to Control X and let's just talk about how to get started, where the scripting toolbars and all of that are located. A window or a fly out here, and you weren't able to figure out how to get it back. There always was a way to do it. It's just sometimes that was very difficult. You have that ability to hit reset toolbars and it will put everything back to its default location. You see, I just clicked it and it puts everything back to its normal location. So that is awesome that we have that now and you can come over and turn on the scripting toolbar. So this is where the scripting toolbar resides. While we're on that same subject, if I come over to the automation tab, you'll see you also have in the automation tab, visual script editor. This is where all this stuff is, open visual script. And then you stop right here and you see text script editor, open text script, the ones that you've already uh, created here, the ability to play and record or stop recording here. It's all in the automation tab. Now, if you wanna see where these scripts are, you can come over to the menu file preferences, and then scroll down here and you will see the workspace folder right here with that location that it's in text scripting so that's where the workspace folder is located and if you want to see where all of the scripts get saved you can come over here to textual scripting file save as and you'll see that it is in your documents Control X text scripting, and then the scripts are located there. 
and they are ASCII text files, obviously. That's where the location is. So everything is going to be done inside of this IDE. So we have a built-in integrated development environment, which is used for the debugging, highlighting, and navigation, as well as other things. Um, it supports multiple tabs. You have your drop down list here with all of your different scripts that you can create a new one and paste them in. The default location, as we talked about, is in the documents folder. If you hit F1, you'll see that you have a help menu. If I come over to the help in the IDE text strip scripting window, I can come over and hit help. It will open up a HTML file introduction to scripting in here. So if we just maximize this here, you see that we have an introduction to the script editor, how to script record, some of the preferences that we discussed already, some of the limitations in the beta. This is key right here, uh, tutorials. So this is a tutorial for this specific example with the tire. And here is the sample script all built right in here. And then the API help here. I can just go back to the original and then you can search in here as well. See, so I have the search docs. So that's where you can find help there. And then another location you can find help is under the menu, help, tutorials. And then if you scroll down here, you will have your visual scripting or textual scripting there as well. So that's another spot that you can kind of navigate to the scripting help and tutorials. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is just transition over and walk through a quick example of how to record a script just a very basic one a macro recorder so this is going to be a very low level record a bunch of steps and repeat them and play them back so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and we're just going to do a basic scan processing type script so i'm going to drag some scans in into the interface here So there we go. We got a bunch of scans and we are going to, you can do it from the automation section here where we say we want to start recording. And this is a warning just saying that there are some limitations. We haven't gone through the entire software and exposed every single thing to scripting yet, but we got a bunch of it and it's ready to go. So this is just the warning, just letting you know that some of the commands may not, although today we're going to cover some of the basic scan ones, so that would be easy. So we'll come over to the measure data here, and the first thing we're going to do is we'll come over and say, I want to do a global fine alignment, and we're just going to select all the scans and do a global fine alignment. So this is just going to tighten up any possible misalignment between the scans to each other. So now that that is finished, we just hit OK. And the next step is to come over to Merge. And we'll just go ahead and run a volume merge. One click back from the top there. And I'm going to leave remove original data for just for simplicity's sake in this script. And then we'll hit OK. So now we have one merged scan. So now let's go ahead and run decimate. So we'll go ahead and say, I want to decimate 25%, 25% there. And then hit OK. So now that we did those three steps, We'll just come over here and say stop recording. And you see here that it built a script number three. If we just drag this over, you'll see that it just captured the fact that we did a line between and it captured the names there. This one is going to be hardwired to those specific scans, right? It's going to look for these specific scans and then merge them. And then you'll see here it does the volume merge with its settings available 
right here. And then it does the decimate. So then if I needed to rename this, you just come over here. And I could just call this merge. And then hit OK there. So now we have, again, we got these different um, tabs open. And you could even save this script and run the next steps and save another script and copy and paste them in and kind of use the scripts in stages. So now let's go ahead and make a new file, drag in the scans, and we will go ahead and run. So I can play from right over here or in the automation tab, you can come over here and select your script and play it that way. So we'll go ahead and hit play script. And you'll see that goes ahead and runs through the process of aligning the objects. And then we'll jump over to merge. Yes, yeah, so it's still registering right now. Now it's triangulating here. You'll see down here at the bottom. Now you see that it's decimating over here. And now it's complete. So we just look at the scan. I can click on it, go to properties here, and just see that it's very low polyphases count. Um, 256. So it went ahead and decimated it and all that as well. So this is the process of how you can record a script and then how you can save these scripts over here. And if I had some sort of error, it would have an output there in the output window. But this has been an introduction of how to navigate finding the documentation in Control X for scripting and then navigating the scripting window and creating a quick macro just to test it out. I hope this helps everybody and we will definitely have more content available on how to write scripts, a more elaborate processes here. But this is more of just a getting started, get your bearings. So. Hopefully this helps. Thanks a lot for your time and look for more videos.